Good morning. We actually had to blow up our mattress and put it on top. Fitted perfectly. Like a glove. Just preparing our lunch. And we had already our host coming in and making us a nice cozy fire this morning. Good morning world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the small village of Songino in the west of Mongolia. And it's our third night sleeping in a traditional Mongolian ger. But as cozy as it sounds, there was a huge rainstorm for the whole night. And normally it's fine, you know, we are inside, it's nice and cozy, but check that out. <laughs> There's no window. <laughs> also, we have some bugs crawling around here and I found this morning already tons of them underneath Ollie's shoes. Oh, a little bug invasion. Oh, he's upside down. Oh. Luckily they are not disgusting or anything like that. They're actually quite cute. In the night I was like sleeping and then suddenly I felt something on my on my cheek and I was like grabbing and throwing. <laughs> I did the same thing. Like something was on my neck. I grabbed it and I threw it. And then I realized just a second later that it was my earplug. <laughs> <laughs> At one or two o'clock in the night, we decided actually to blow up our mattress because if you see here. Yeah. But despite all the challenges during the night, we're ready for another exciting day heading further west into Mongolia. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. By the way, look how beautiful this table is. So after five days riding in Mongolia, we are now here. And today we are going to be continuing on this road past the massive Kargasnur Lake. Then we're going to be hooking up with this road and finding a place to camp somewhere in this area here. We are going to ride at least five hours today. So we don't know exactly where we're going to end up tonight or where we're going to sleep tonight. Hopefully we have a nice space where we can pitch up our tent. But we still have to pick up everything and it's already 7.50, so better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> I'm supposed to be packing up, but I'm just playing with the dog. Yes, I know. He's putting his paw on my paw. He's putting his paw on my paw. What is it on? 35.5. We'll bring it up to 38. Oh, so quick. I love this machine. Easy as. The Lexin tire pump. <laughs> the best a tire can get. But guys, oh my god, Mongolia is the country of eagles. These are all eagles. Can you believe it? Wow. What are you guys cooking? Oh! Kill the cock! Oh! It's marmot! It's a marmot! Oh, it's a you shot, shot the marmot! <laughs> what? This guy, he shot the marmot with a bow and arrow. No way! That's crazy! Can I see? <laughs> So these guys are basically going to cook the marmot meat inside the marmot skin by putting hot rocks inside and then dropping all the meat inside. Master <laughs> Chef! <laughs> wow! This is not a vegetarian meal, that's for sure. So here you've got all the marmot entrails, all the meat pieces, and uh, salt. Whoa. Wow. Give it a smell. Barbecue. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice hey? All the meat, meat gets stuffed in there. <laughs> well, you can still see his like little toe. Yes! 
from here it's like an alive marmot and then you come up and oh, oh, that is raw. <laughs> that's actually quite hard <laughs> yeah, these, these guys don't know that we're mostly vegetarian so then tying the top of the marmot with a wire <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Bye bye. What an experience to see something like that. Wow. That is raw Mongolian cuisine. I can't believe he just went out and shot that marmot this morning with a bow and arrow. I mean, that's insane. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. We start in England and then all the way North Africa, North America, Korea, Vladivostok, Russia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan. Yes. yes. Uh, back to England. Finish. Yeah, finish. <laughs> now I've just got to deal with the challenge of getting back to the road through this. Look at this. I mean, this is basically a beach here. So I think I'm gonna go round here and along the bottom here. Okay, thank you. Four, five, six. Okay. I'll let you know if I get stuck, but I think it's okay. Got that traction by Dunlop. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. First petrol station. Let's get some petrol. Yeah, because after this town, Songino, I think there is no more towns for quite a while, I think. I don't know when we're going <laughs> to see the next town. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the price here for 92 is 2980 Mongolian you know what I never learned the name for the Mongolian currency anyway 2980 which is about 70 75 pence okay I'm gonna practice my Mongolian thank you okay we learned yesterday from the kids so? yes? yeah Yes! Yes! Bravo! Yes. 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 Okay, say. Bayetha. Bayetha. <laughs> I don't think she. I don't think she understood. Bayetha. Uh, Bayetha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she didn't understand at all. I'll try one more time before we leave. Bayetha. Ah, it's good. It's good. Perfect. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, I can tell you, yeah, the Mongolian language is not easy. That word is really hard to pronounce. <laughs> like I try it so many times, and they just look at you. They have no no idea what I'm trying to say. All right, all fueled up and ready to hit the road west, hey? Yes, let's do it. We've just stopped on the side of the road because we saw a small herd of camels over here. How cool is that? I'll never get tired of seeing camels, that's for sure. Look, look, look. It's camel poop. I remember that from Morocco. This all looks like stones, but actually this is all camel poop. This is a bit of camel poop. I think they noticed us. <laughs> They're all looking at us, they've totally noticed us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What a scene, hey? Amazing. It's so peaceful here. It is. You just want to lie down on the ground and just, I don't know, just be. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully tonight we can just find a place like this yeah. and just pitch up our tent yeah. and just enjoy the landscape. <laughs> this is the absolutely massive Kyargas Lake and we've been riding past it for like the last, I don't know, 20 miles already. I mean it is just, it's just vast. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. There's a point of the road where we're going to reach pretty close to the lake, the closest point coming up in a few miles. So we're going to stop there and have a lunch break next to this massive and beautiful lake. Oh, oh, a little bit sandy. It looks really sandy. Okay, then I'll just stop where these rocks are. Yeah, let's just maybe just stop here. Okay. <laughs> so we couldn't really get down to the lake, to be honest. <laughs> I thought it was a little bit easier. The material here is like not the easiest to ride on. So, oh, that'll do. That's as close as we're going to get. I made some sandwiches this morning, but we run out of marmite. No. Ah. <laughs> so back to just bread and cheese. <laughs> anyway, I was super hungry, so this is great. We did really good so far. We did 130 miles already and it's just 12 o'clock good progress today honestly it's like spot him on the camera on the lens cannot see him you know what i was above his head the whole time no yeah. now i see him I, uh, now i got him hello oh okay my first task is to get back to the road so Lavi's just walked up to get a good view of me falling over okay let's avoid these prickly bushes okay where am I gonna go okay back this way Ooh, that's a little bit slidey <laughs> Okay, I might need a push. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, traction by Dunlop. Yes. Getting closer, getting closer. Come on, yes. Oh my Lord. How did there happen to be a car coming right as I was about to go up? Seriously, this road is not busy at all. And just as I was about to come up the bank, I think we have to walk it up the bank together. I'm gonna go on one side, you go on the other. I'm gonna rev it up. Because if I try and go up this bank on my own, it's gonna dig in and I'm gonna be stuck halfway. Yeah, I didn't realize how soft the ground would be. Okay, ready? Yeah, just slowly, we're gonna walk it up, okay? <laughs> Nearly there. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ready? Three, two, maybe he's gonna help push. Hello! <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Three, two, one, go. Get it, get it up. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Bayirsa. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> bye bye. Nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that bank was a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Oh man. And a little bit softer. Yeah, I mean, rolling down is easier than riding up, eh? Yeah, I would have certainly fallen over if I tried to do that on my own. Yeah. Oh, all right, anyway. Cool. All good, back on the road. So let's continue making our way west then, eh? First stop, petrol station. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting fuel as well. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, 92 uh, full. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. GPS. Uh, Ugli. Ulgi. Ulgi, yes. Ulgi, uh, Sanganur, uh, Russia. Ruski, Ruska. Ruski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you? Ulangom? Ulangom, Ulangom okay. Ufsnur. Ah, okay. Ufsnur. Ufsnur, Ulangom, Ufsnur. Ah, okay. Ufsnur. 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 Ah. Ufsnur is the biggest lake in Mongolia. Bayirsa. Bayirsa. <laughs> Ciao. We should have stopped for lunch here, it would have been much easier. Yeah. Camels! <laughs> wow. Look at these guys. Amazing. Hello, guys. Hello guys! Oh, cool! Oh, I love them. So we're just trying to figure out where to go from here because the main road that we're on now goes all the way up to a town called Ulangom, which is about 50 kilometers north. But then the road that we want turns south from there and basically just runs along there. Like it's probably on the other side of this river valley but I can see on maps me there's a little cut through and the cut through looks like it goes sort of along here it's like exactly here going across to those mountains over there but we were looking out for something on the left some kind of road and all we saw was a dirt track so I don't know do you think we should just try the dirt track and cut through and then see? It's around 20 kilometers to get through. And then I think on the other side, this road, the A1701 might be paved, but I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a town down here called Olgi. And I think that's where we need to go. Because ultimately, we're looking at going across to this town, Ulgi, but there's no main road to connect the two. So we're just going to try to go down to Ulgi, across, and find our way this way. Just give it a go, hey? As long as it's not sandy. Well, that's what we're going to have to see, isn't it? I mean, it is pretty much a desert here, so let's see how it is. I think it's this road here. Yeah, this kind of track going this way, right? Yeah, I mean, look, there's a sign. <laughs> there is actually a sign. Yeah, what is it saying? Ulgi, Ulgi. 70 kilometers. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's where we're going. Perfect. I love how they have a sign and then, like, this is the turn off. <laughs> like, this, this is the turn off. <laughs> oh not... my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna oh go my... down straight, I think, is the easiest. Yeah, perhaps, eh? Hey? Okay. It's just like, yeah, Ulgi, 70 kilometers this way. Go for it, guys. Oh okay. my goodness. I don't know if this is going to be a mistake. Okay, so we seem to have lost the track. Yeah, I think follow this road. Follow this one. Looks like we're kind of coming to a riverbed here. It's a little bit rough, hey? Oh my goodness. <sighs> we fell over. 